Hello and welcome to this video. Well, I'm going to make um, a lavender pouch today because I uh, last year I had... Um, I don't know where I got it from actually. I think it's from my father's garden or my brother's. I don't remember. But I picked some lavender and and I did that mostly because I like the aesthetics of uh, hanging herbs in my windows um, because we don't have a garden yet so eventually I want to make you know a whole herb garden where I can grow my own herbs and um, you know make useful things out of them because I have really been diving deep into the like garden um herbs plants things <laughs> this year uh, everything that has to do with you know uh, medicinal properties of herbs i think it's very important to know about them <laughs> uh, because i'm i'm a person that has i don't know if you call it chronic but i all um, i sometimes have a headache that is a tension headache and I have it maybe three or four times a week and if I were to use like take a pill every time that would be very many pills and I don't want to use that many pills because I also have a menstrual pain um, where I have to take pills to function. <laughs> And, and hopefully I can get into like the medicinal properties of some herbs that can help me with these things. And one thing that I found has helped is peppermint oil. So essential oils. Um, because I have a, a nerve here that, it's, that is uh, like always hurting. <laughs> uh, and I also clench my jaws when I sleep. So if I, if I use the peppermint oil and massage uh, this nerve I have in my in my eyebrow in my forehead and my head it goes from here up to here um, it, it gets better actually so if I drink a lot of water if I drink peppermint tea and um, maybe spray some lavender oil on my pillow and use the peppermint oil on my uh, eyebrow it gets better which I think is so it's mind-blowing <laughs> that nature because I know well I know <laughs> that the um, the origin of medicine is from nature and I get it and I know why we have turned to like another kind of kind of medicine because yeah you know I don't have to go into that right now because that's a long discussion and I I want to get sewing but what I'm trying to say is that I picked some lavender <laughs> last year uh, from my father's garden and I dried it in my window uh, this year and it doesn't take a year but I, I thought that it looked pretty but now I want to pick some more and uh, do it again so I took down the old one or the last year's one and I um, like crumbled it because it's dry and some I put in here and this um, is lavender, uh, dried lavender that I want to make a pouch out of. No, I, I want to make a pouch to put the lavender in. Uh, so I have a bit of scrap fabric here that I have just sketched a uh, design onto. It's going to be very simple, just uh, a branch or something. And I want to put the lavender in and so that I can use this lavender bag to have in my cupboards, my linen closet or in my yarn stash or something because traditionally lavender was used to fend off like insects that you, you know, moths and stuff that you don't want near your natural fibers because they eat them or destroy them. So destroy, <laughs> destruction, no, uh, they eat it and uh, it, um, creates holes in them and you don't want that obviously so uh, I have been putting cedar wood in my drawers and also uh, chestnuts because that is 
also said to be protective. So every year when the uh, we all, we actually have a, a chestnut tree right outside our window. So every year when they uh, land on the ground, you have to you can put them in your stash or you know linen closet or something. Um, and I change them every every year. Um, and then you can do like beautiful stuff with the the ones that you don't have there anymore. You can use them for decorating or stuff. Yeah. And I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna make a lavender pouch. So I have a linen fabric here that I just cut uh, even, uh, and then I folded it. And I'm thinking that I maybe I don't know how to sew it together. I haven't decided yet. But may I will do the design in front, and then I will sew the sides together and like fold it on the top and then I think I I might just add a strap to it because it's not intended to be opened and closed lots of times. But I have my little box of uh, embroidery floss here and I'm gonna choose a color. I'm not gonna choose purple because I hate purple. You know purple like lavender. It's not my color. Uh, maybe I'll choose this one. Yeah, this one looks like this yeah I think that would be nice it's not too harsh um, and I will also be making I, um, this one is for myself and Robin and our cupboards but I will be making one for my father as well because he lets me pick all the lavender I want from their garden they have quite a lot actually so that's nice. Okay, let's see here. I I will um I will take three strands of this DMC Moline, which is a cotton embroidery floss that is very you know, ac accessible in most countries, I think. I don't know, but mo most countries. Um I should think this one oh, or this kind of uh, solution to storing has changed my embroidery life <laughs> because I used to have it all in a bag and it all get it gets like knots everywhere and it's just a hassle trying to embroider but this is a really good system I would recommend it to anyone who has like more than one embroidery floss <laughs> Well, I'm gonna start stitching here, so I'll see you in a bit.
so here you have it. Well, I will put you up here so I can talk to you for a bit. Okay, so I finished the, the lavender pouch and it looks like this. I'm very pleased with it. It's, um, it's a shame that I didn't think of moving the design down. But you know, it's gonna it's gonna be in a in a linen closet anyway, so nobody's gonna see that. So that's fine by me. Um, but I have enough of lavender right now, so I can make another one. So I will think about that uh, in the next design. I actually have it here. Um, it's two branches and a few dots, so I can uh, you know move it down so the branches touches the the edge the lower edge and then make like a drawstring thing at the top next time but I'm very pleased with this actually it feels so nice to use up the scrap fabric that I get when I sew um, it's kind of inevitable that I get scrap yarn uh, scrap fabric because well I, I sew a lot of rectangles and stuff so that's nice but but sometimes you, you get scraps <laughs> and that's fine because you can use them to um, make other stuff and I love embroider on linen so I can make pouches and I can make project bags uh, actually I might do a video sometime when I when I make my project bag out of scrap fabrics because I want to do kind of a patchwork thing where I uh, put pieces together and then uh, sew a bag out of them for my knitting because I actually want to have more project bags yeah I'm very pleased with this one I actually love the the color combination as well it smells really nice as well and it's nice with fabric like linen because it's it's not that thick and dense, so the, tra uh, the smell travels through um, quite easily, which I think is nice. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this inspiring, or um, you know, maybe you want to make a lavender bag for yourself now. And it's actually a perfect gift to make for uh, someone's birthday, or name day, or Christmas coming up. Not coming up, but soon, you know. <laughs> We're on that half of the year, that Christmas is nearer than the other half of the year, you know what I mean. Uh, but it's actually quite good and I think that many people would appreciate a gift like this because whether or not you, you actually do the, the, um, the crafts yourself, I think that it's something in us that wants to preserve the crafts and to you know know about this stuff it's um it's actually kind of in the you know it's in to know about these things right now so i think a lot of people would appreciate this thank you for watching and i hope you have a lovely day and i will see you soon in a new video bye bye